Hey YouTubers, this is Francis. It's a Monday afternoon and um, it's about 1.15 p.m. Uh, Debbie took a ride to her mom's house to deliver some barbecue and she's still gone. Uh, I think she left about two hours ago and so she should be home probably back in about an hour within an hour anyways while she was gone about two hours ago I got out on the deck and I spent about maybe 90 minutes out there working my brick I did four complete sets and uh, I did a fifth uh, set of just a bicep curl okay so anyways um, it, the sun was out the whole time, so I oiled up and, um, you know, I got about 30 minutes on my back, 30 minutes on my front, and whatever. Uh, so I just, uh, I finally came in, I, I cooled down in front of the air conditioner. I, uh, after about 30 minutes, I've been back in here now for about 40 minutes and I just put this uh, bikini top on it's black I have a, a black and white bikini bottom I'm gonna get up and show people because I want to show you what I look like you know I gained weight over the last month or two since I uh, you know I got down to like 260 and unfortunately I'm back up to 280 but you know, I plan on really getting back on my diet. I am not taking HCG. I'm going to get on a uh, 1,200, 1,500-calorie-a-day diet. I'm going to work out every other day. And, you know, you got to kind of burn that fat to get it off you. And uh, I'm going to eat right, and I'm going to go back on my vegetarian diet. Uh, during the barbecue I did not have any green beans or soup beans but last night I had a bowl and I had a little bit of green beans and a little bit of soup beans I had I only had one or two servings of uh, macaroni and cheese the whole barbecue I really liked the broccoli and cheese that Debbie made uh, we basically cooked broccoli, put it in a pan with a, with a cheese sauce she made up and then popped that in the oven for a while I guess I don't know she did all the cooking I have no idea which how she did it but came out great and uh, Corey uh, Briggs like that too so uh, anyways you know I, I eat mostly vegan I do occasionally eat meat and I only had one hamburger bun and most of the time when I ate the pulled pork and the barbecue sauce I ate it on the side with a fork and I did have some 12 grain bread that I made a sandwich or two with over the course of the weekend but I tried to eat pretty much uh, the veggies more than anything else so anyways uh, the, the, the green beans and the soup beans has helped me uh, get my GI tract cleaned out over the last 24 hours <laughs> anyways uh, I feel really good today I think I detoxed some of the things we ate I ate over the weekend and that's good because I think I sweat out a lot of stuff and I, you know you don't want to keep that stuff in your body very long and uh, you know my body is weird if I eat something that's not on my usual organic food plan I kind of purge it out of my system very rapidly it's like my system doesn't want that stuff and it gets rid of it as quickly as possible so that's pretty much what's happened over the last 24 hours uh, you know being a senior citizen I get tired and believe me I drank quite a bit of white Russians oh this so I was going to show people this this is the bottle there's still some this is that coffee liquor that uh, 
Debbie Arradiola came. And when she came, this was full right up to the top. So this is 2.5 liters. And we probably only have um, maybe a glass of this left. So anyways, I'm going to tell you folks, I, must, I bet you I drank close to half of what's missing out of this bottle because I did... I think I drank more of those drinks than everybody else put together and uh, and I was like put I had a, a 16 ounce glass bigger than this is 12 ounce I had a 16 ounce glass I filled it up halfway with ice and then I poured that coffee liquor in there till the ice was covered so I don't know maybe that could have been like two three four ounces at a whack and then I just put a little bit of half and half I, uh, I finished off the half and it's just a little bit in the bottom I finished this off this morning with my morning coffee and uh, so I feel really good now I, w I went out on the deck worked out six minutes so I got to get going when I came in I sat in front of the air conditioner over here by the north wall of the kitchen and I chilled out and I have the cooler there, so I poured myself a Miller High Life beer, and then uh, and then this is like the last of a, a Bud Light that I had in the cooler too. So I've had two Victory beers. All right, I'm gonna get up because I, you know, it's uh, today's the 22nd of August. And sad to say, I got about five, five, five weeks between now and the beginning of October. And that's when I started the HCG diet when I was 300 pounds last fall. So anyways, I got to get busy. You know, I mean, by October 1st, I want to be back down to what I was after I got off the HCG. So I'd like to get that back down to like 250. So I got to get some serious weight loss going here to get back down 30 pounds from what I am now so anyway uh, it's a struggle I'm you know when you get over 60 and you know it's hard to lose weight you know you have to diet and eat properly and eat the right things okay you can't starve yourself okay all right, well, oh, that was eight minutes. Okay, I'm going to get up and show you what I kind of look like. And uh, so, move this chair out of the way. Here we go. All right. Now, I've been working my legs in my bedroom, and I do have extra flab. Uh, my right leg is worse than my left because I injured my right knee about. 1989 so that was what 27 years ago and I do have you know this is not everybody says I was show hanging something out no I don't I have I do have some hanging fat here up by my groin but all my junk is inside the suit okay so, here. so I just want to show you this my tummy I got a little bit of chiseling on the side see I really can't see too well, but I know I've been slimming down in my Batuski area, and uh, you know I do I do leg bends and lifts and scissor kicks in bed, and so that's what I look like. Reach for the sky, cowboy. So, anyways, and this uh, bikini top is a twenty. A 20D, so for all you ladies out there that know women's plus sizes, that's what I am. So a 20D. It's a little tight through the band size because actually my rib cage is running about 41. So kind of like in between 40 and I say that yeah, between 40. Did I say 20D? No. It's a 40 D. I have a 40, and my and my tummy is about the same measurement as my band size. So you know I'm pretty flat from my uh, under my boob and my rib cage down to my waist, and then I kind of flare out because I got a roll. I have a jelly roll, and I'm working. 
I gotta, I gotta get that call. Okay, but everybody has the battle of the bulge, so you know I don't feel too bad about that. So, and as you can see, you know I had a lot of hanging fat here, but I mean I still got all. Everybody has a problem with that, but you know I got. You know, I'm working these shoulders with my exercises and my arms. So, you know, it gets sore and tight in here after I work out. But then, I, you know, I work out one day, I take two days off. So, like, every 48 hours. Or sometimes, I'll if I work out in the morning like I did today, I might not work out again until Thursday afternoon. But the young lad that lives with us... He, he works five days a week, Monday through Friday now, instead of four days. So he's, so he's get, he, he works two hours less Monday through Thursday. So he has to work eight hours on Friday. So he's also here two hours earlier every day. So anyways, uh, I like to have all my workouts done before he comes home, okay? So, so anyways, but that's my life, okay? My life is take care of Francis, eat right, lose weight, maintain my health. I, uh, you know, I have certain responsibilities that I volunteer for because I do them well in this household, like wash dishes, pots, pans, whatever. Uh, I don't have a problem with that as long as I have hot water and palm olive dish soap for my hands <laughs> this ain't a palm olive commercial but that's what I've used for years okay it's the orange color and I do get that green stuff once in a while but I like the antibacterial okay I haven't been sick in years in fact last night I started to get a sore throat because I think I grabbed some you know I usually get a clean spoon and I spoon it but we had a, a, a spoon sitting on the counter there too long and sometimes I'll rinse them out and clean them first before I scoop it but uh, when I did try the beans you know and then I started felt like I had a sore throat on the right side down between your tongue and your throat well guess what I uh, I chewed a clove of garlic last night with some molasses and I just chewed it, chewed it until that pungent raw garlic just just chewed it and chewed it and chewed it and it was horrible and it was so bad I couldn't, I didn't want to swallow it but sometimes I do but I just kept chewing it and kept it in there and the, and the garlic fumes went up in my sinuses and well you know what? I don't have a sore throat today. So, you know, raw garlic kills shit, you know? I mean, so I'm not gonna get sick because I, I, I was a preemptive garlic kill zone. <laughs> right? For all you preppers out there, raw garlic, chewing that with honey or, or molasses, it'll save you, uh, you know, for about five or 10 minutes of like having some horrible taste in your mouth it saves you from being sick and dead on your ass for four days, okay? So, listen to Francis. I know it works. I've done it for like over three and a half years now, and I haven't been sick and out of commission ever since I started using this home recipe that somebody told me about. Okay, all right, 14 minutes, got to go. Love you all, and... Um, Francis survived the barbecue. <laughs> oh, and what I wanted, I want to make, give a special shout out and thanks to D Nomad and her mom, Marcy, for helping me because we had all this barbecue. We had like eight butts and Debbie Lynn pulled uh, several, several of them apart, but we had a whole bunch of them piled up on the, on the table here. And I was just too tired and probably buzzed out on white Russians to do that. But uh, D Nomad and Marcy help, helped us out and uh, rose to the occasion. And they, they put all that meat and barbecue meat 
in uh, freezer bags that we have on the table. See, I, I bought some freezer bags ahead of time. This is holds 50, right? Yeah, 50, see? And we still got some left, but you know, that's awesome. I want to thank them for helping out. And it was so much fun having Debbie Ariola here and and Corey and her husband Doug. We had a great time, you know. I you know, it was almost like hanging around with your teenage friends that you hung around with in high school. Remember those days? Well, that's what it was like for, for all that time. I'm going to get emotional here, but it was a blast. So, thank you all who came and all who couldn't make it. As always, next year. Love you. Bye bye.